everyone, I'm Talita. I'm a community dietitian with Fowl Hills Capel Tribal Council. And I'm Crystal. I'm another one of the dietitians with Fowl Hills Capel Tribal Council. And today we're going to make Cuban lunch. So I chose the recipe because whenever I ask my kids what baking they want me to do, this is always the first one that they say that they want the little chocolates. So um, it's a family favorite and it's really simple and easy to do. So we will get started. So the first thing you need is the different kinds of chips. So it's two cups of chocolate chips, um, two cups of butterscotch chips, and then the recipe I have also calls for two cups of peanut butter chips, which the local co-op did not have. So we are using sea salt, salt caramel chips, which I'm excited to try. I think they'll be delicious. Okay, so should I add two cups of each in our pot? Yes, and I don't even measure because I think one bag is close to two cups. So we'll just throw it in. <laughs> We're winging it. Oh, those smell good. And what you do is turn your stove on me low to medium, I would say, and melt the chips first. All right, so I'm going to turn on medium, low. You don't want to cook it too high of heat or you'll burn the chocolate. So you just want to be patient, melt it slowly and stirring it pretty regularly while it's, as it's melting. In the meantime, while that is melting, I would prep my other stuff. So um, the one thing that you do have to do other than measuring is chopping the peanuts. Um, once everything's melted, we add coconut, peanuts, and Rice Krispies. So I have chopped most of them, but I'll do a few more just to show my excellent chopping technique. <laughs> if you have a chopper, that would be quicker, obviously. But and we chose unsalted peanuts for this recipe, but you could use anything you can find. And traditionally, the Cuban lunch recipe has chips in it, some regular um, ripple chips, but we are going to use Rice Krispies. True story. A few years ago when I went to make it, I didn't have ripple chips and looked in the pantry to try to improvise and tried Rice Krispies and that's how I've been making it ever since. And the coconuts in addition too, that's not a normal part of the Cuban lunch, but we like coconuts so we added that. There's probably other things you could add. You could do different kinds of nuts in it if you wanted. Um, I don't know what else you could add. Any ideas? Dried fruit, maybe, if you yeah. had raisins or dried cranberries. Cranberries would be good, yeah. Okay. Pretzels chopped up or crushed up would be good, I bet. So our chips are starting to melt here. They're getting um, a little bit more clumped up. As you can see, the chips closest to the bottom of the pot are melting. Okay, so we're gonna put a cup and a half of peanut and a half a cup of unsweetened coconut. And one and a half cups of the Rice Krispies or the Ripple Chips or whatever you choose. And with the chips, you just crush them up and put them in and then two cups each of the different chips. So the chocolate chips, we use milk chocolate, the butterscotch chips and the sea salted caramel. If you're my age or close to my age, you probably remember Cuban lunch as a chocolate bar that you could buy. It was like kind of the size of a deck of cards and it was in like a clear cellophane wrap. And this is kind of the inspiration for the recipe. This is what it's supposed to taste like, I guess. So if you don't make all the adjustments to it. So we're almost there. You can see that the ch chips have lost a lot of their shape. So they're almost all melted. Okay, Crystal, what are our next steps? Next steps are just to add in the, your additions. So we'll add the Rice Krispies, the 
chopped peanuts and your coconut and give it a good stir. Would you turn off the stove top at this point? I would, I think. Okay. <laughs> and you just stir till it's all combined. Okay, so everything is coated with our melted chips. And so now... Now the fun part. <laughs> where... This is the part my kids like helping with and it really causes me anxiety <laughs> because they make a very big mess. But you take a teaspoonful while it's still warm and drop into your mini cupcake liners. They stay melted quite a while so you don't have to work super fast. Um, and then when we're done filling all of the liners, we refrigerate. Yep, and put it in the fridge to cool. Um, I actually freeze mine once I have them cooled and everything because we like them straight out of the freezer. Um, but you could store them just in an airtight container on the countertop or in the fridge. There's that mess. <laughs> This is the finished product. Well, it's the trade product, and then we'll put it in the fridge for a half an hour or so to make sure it's set and hardened, and then enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.